the easiest aspect uh, you know, uh, of play for us to understand is physical, the, the expenditure of physical energy. So we tend to design playgrounds where you climb, jump, swing, and all that. Okay. It's harder for us to begin to think in terms of socialization, cooperation, things of that nature. And because we, we don't have the mechanisms to go beyond simple solutions for that. What troubles me is you know, that uh, they're supposed to grow out of play. And the play, we look even at the nature of the playground. If you look at the history of the playground, you see that these were machines, initially developed as machines, the industrial age. You look at uh, you know, the, even the ones that they brought in. They brought temporary playgrounds into Central Park, and then they would take them out. And these were mechanisms to indoctrinate the child into the so industrial age, when they finally do encounter the machine at, the, at different levels. Well, without getting too far into that, that's an entire subject, simply put, I think what we do is we tend to destroy the creative side of human nature. And in play is where we are most creative. And if we could establish that this is not a wasteful exercise, that it is, a, it is not a period in, in your life when you are, you know, going, th you have to go through something to get to somewhere else, that it is part of an ongoing process. And the only thing that changes is the nature in which you play. And therefore, the idea of a, looking at a playground design, we should really be looking at the nature of play and then designing to the nature of play. Yes, you can compartmentalize it and compact it into an area, but then that, that isn't in and of itself wrong. What's wrong is to say that it doesn't leave the playground. When you leave the playground, you leave that activity. And I think I mentioned before, there are people whose whole life is dedicated to play.